Here is your lesson for today. Bring me any creature with feathers. The birds in our valley fly mostly by day, nesting away at dark. You've seen gulls and other kinds farther afield. Those common birds would count for today's lesson, but it would lack ambition. You clever students who wish to impress me would do well to head to the high elevations between dawn and dusk. I would find buzzard most impressive. And before you ask, the chickens around our village came here with our ancestors. Bringing me a tame bird from your mother's yard will not fulfill the assignment. I can no longer deny the pull that Alia has on me. She came to me, alone, as I walked the passes high above the valley. I know now that the draw was mutual. I explained to her why I could not, should not, why my position amongst our people should preclude such folly, why I could never make her happy. But it didn't matter what I said. As my mouth spoke, my arms reached out to enfold her, and we embraced. It has been so long, and I am still human. Alive. Good. We got most of the wounded to safety, but the invaders returned. They've taken the upper village. There are more of us, down in the valley, organizing for our resistance. We'll take any extra hands we can get. If you're going back to the village, be careful. Hello there. The Soviets abandoned this place in a hurry, and they left salvage all over the valley. Put it to good use.
Yeah. One of them surrendered and the company men were watching. Had to turn him over. They take him back to the old prison? Just the ones they think might know something about the Atlas. Constantine's gonna ask them a few questions. They've got the rest back up near the cathedral. Someone's gonna have some fun. There must be them. Let's hope they draw straws for that job. Oh, well. How long you been on the payroll? A few months. This is my first web work assignment. It's been too long since I was in the field. They got rusty. You? Been with Constantine for just about a year now. Had an old war buddy that vouched for me. Before that, I was working for one of the families in Kiev. Heads up! Incoming! Search the area. Watch the bushes. She could be anywhere. I'm in trouble. Big fucking trouble. I've been snooping around, saving a few files for my personal use, and I found a correspondence thread about me. Worse, I think I was supposed to find it. The head of security knows I've been leaking data. Probably known all along, and they're just watching for now, waiting to see what my end game is. I wish I had an end game. I'm gonna die just because I was nosy and stupid. I don't even think this channel is secure now. They could have picked you up already. I'm getting paranoid out here. But this Trinity, they are big. And they're everywhere. And the more I find out, the more I realize how badly I fucked up. So here you go. You were right. Hope I get to tell you that in person. the atlas is beneath the cathedral, but we're looking for anything that might confirm that theory. Like what exactly? If we knew, we would be looking for documents, maps, anything that might confirm the theory. Why don't we just go down and get it? Because they also think that it might be dangerous. 
want any additional intel you can find before putting lives on the line. We think the natives are guarding it? Something like that. Sure. We've already shown we can deal with them. Why don't we just take it by force? Listen, we're going to get computation that takes action. If you want to upgrade your contacts with Trinity, start looking and stop asking questions. Hey, I think I found some more of those gold coins. Set it aside. Not yours to take. Come on, it spoils war. I sense you haven't fully grasped this yet. This is not a mercenary outfit. We have rules. You will be paid well, but you will obey every command. It's just a couple of fucking coins. I gave you a direct order. Just like I have a direct order from Constantine to execute. We heard of the Prophet's arrival in Constantinople, but we paid it no mind. 
The great city has always drawn madmen and pretenders to the ear of God. We heard strange tales of miracles of the prophet, but still we did not seek him out. But then we heard him speak, heard the liquid truth of his words roll across the form of Constantine. He claimed not to speak for God, claimed that no man could. But his wisdom was plain, and not a one of us in that form could deny that he spoke the truth. I must know more about him. I must hear him again. say? It's not his call, but he's gonna put a recommendation in of some sort. So that's it? That's all he can do? Look, some of those guys are... We're under attack! Watch the bushes. She could be anywhere.
Croft is operating against us at every turn. Someone put a fire in her. Lord Croft was too bookish to possess any true resolve. He was a coward. His daughter is something different. I almost gave an order today that no man should kill Croft but me. I fear she is starting to cloud my judgment. I must remind myself, the goal is not another dead Croft. The goal is the divine source. illness. It's ruining my body. Now it threatens my mind as well. I keep drifting off, getting lost in memories, lost in thoughts of the day Lord Croft died. How the plan had to shift, how I thought we had failed. And before that, my early days with Trinity. Learning the secret histories of the world, learning that it was our duty to save it. And back farther, to childhood. Constantine and I, with only each other to rely on. And then I rip myself free, back to the present. I've always done what had to be done, and this time will be no different. Elias and I will attempt to reach the far hills, where the old bear lives. Trinity is still clustered below in the old Soviet base. We will wait until the dead of night to go. It is a great risk, but we know a battle is coming. We'll have need of the medicinal herbs that grow in those hills, if we are to survive the coming struggle.
thin, fluted flint arrowhead snapped in two. Hmm, the face is familiar. The base is similar to arrowheads found in America. The technique survived migration halfway around the world. up. We seem to have lost contact with the team sweeping the lower valley. Do you have eyes on them? Negative. Possible hostiles? Could just be radio interference, but Constantine's not taking chances. I have gone to the Forum to hear the Prophet speak. I wear robes of the common folk. It would not do for a son of a great house to be seen here. There are rumblings that the patricians and men from the Church in the West seek to silence the Prophet. I can only listen and reproduce the great man's words. No man has ever told the truth about God, for no man can ever know. There is more sacred in the heart of a farmer or a soldier than in the hearts of lords and emperors. We are all of us deceived by those that claim to speak on behalf of the Creator. No man speaks for him, for his voice in the sky, the water, and the flow of the world. The Atlas is a map. It's supposed to point the way to whatever the natives are protecting on here. The divine source Constantine is after. That's a part I'm not clear on. Too fast. The men are trying to be cautious. Cautious? 
Why? We no longer have time for caution, and I no longer have the patience for it. With all due respect, if all of my men die down there... We are all expendable here, Commander. What matters are results. The stakes are too high. Side mission protocol, ma'am. It introduces unnecessary risks. Can you achieve your goal without them? Ma'am, I don't think we're alone down here. I need tactical support. <coughs> no, we're stretched too thin across this valley. If you feel you're being pursued, then I suggest you move <coughs> back. Unarmed woman? That would be cold even for you, Lara. Then again, I know why you haven't pulled that trigger. Shoot me, and my men will cut you down within seconds. It's the one thing they're better at than you. Shut up, Anna. Don't move! You have nowhere to go! Kill her! Now! Reconsider my offer, Laura, before it's too late. Yeah. 